I'm Terry Orkland. Welcome to part four of the Lenormand Complete Course. Today we're talking about the tower. Very ominous, very threatening, but it actually refers to college, a big institution maybe, um, some big organization, some type of research possibly. It also is government. So you have big government and it could lead into lawsuits. You could also have legal issues. The tower could represent legal issues as well. Some books point to this as being isolation and imprisonment. Uh, also, maybe, obviously, corporations, rules. So if you have a traffic ticket or something and, and you have a court asking how it'll go, the tower could represent that. Also, if you have a nine-card spread and they're worried about a legal issue, lawsuit, maybe a divorce, then you could have this as your middle card as well. So let's look at some examples. So maybe we have a legal issue with the house, right? You're about to sell the house. Maybe you want to look at some sort of a legal issue with the house sale. You could also be looking at someone is going through a lawsuit. How will it turn out? Well, you have the good luck card immediately after. So you have a lawsuit or a divorce going on. You're really not sure how it's going to turn out. This is going to be a great card as well as obviously the bouquet as well. So if somebody asked about that and then you have that or the bouquet, it's obviously going to turn out uh, a lot better than what you think. You could also have, obviously, a legal issue with some sneaky business going on. You could have, you go into college maybe, this could represent college. It represents big institutions, education, things like that. So this could be a center card for college. And they're asking about how college will go. Now you have the finances and the money card here, so you could have an issue with college costing more than they had expected, for example. And also another money card would be the fish, so sort of look at college and money together on something like that. So if they're asking if they should go to college or not, maybe you have something like the guidance, the stars, right? Going to college, maybe you have some guidance towards that. It's looking pretty positive. You could have some news or some information coming in about college as well. So someone applied to a couple of colleges and they haven't gotten a return back. You're looking at news about college or about the education. Um, you know, you could be looking at something very good, especially if you have a good card after that. So news about the college application, and you have the bouquet. So all of this in line is really good for, hey, I apply to the colleges, am I gonna get anything back? So now, remember that the tower is represented by Saturn. So Saturn's sort of an odd planet. Um, just remember Saturn and also Capricorn. Capricorn being the, the steady, the hardworking, uh, things like that. So you're thinking, Steady, hardworking Capricorn, you're definitely thinking about the Tower, as well as Saturn, which goes with a lot of other cards on here as well. And the next card is the Garden. Always a good card. It translates to the general public. Uh, people, groups, crowds. So if you're, uh, if you're a garden type person, you're very popular with everyone. You're social, you enjoy people, you like hanging out, you'd love to go to whatever the occasion is if you're a garden type person. So it just represents public, general people, and all sorts of activities that you could go to. So maybe a party, or you have a concert coming up, or something like that. So in a reading, how would you use something like that? So I'm throwing a party, and I'm kind of curious how it'll work out. It looks like your party may be smaller than you had expected, or it could be that you're planning a small party. So you can combine that with that, as well as one of your friends may not be able to make the party. So you have party, social, garden, and then you have the friend card, and then you have the coffin. So they may not be able to make one of your friends may not be able to make the party. As well as you could have, obviously, somebody is traveling to the party. So you're asking about a party or a gathering that you're having. Maybe you're getting married, and maybe you have, like, the ring over here. 
I think we're going to come to the ring a little later, but we could do that earlier. So if you have a ring over here, maybe you have a wedding party or something like that. How is it going to work out? Well, it could be cut short. You have somebody coming from afar and they could be cut short. Let me drag the uh, ring out real quick. Here we go. So we have the ring. So you're having a wedding party. This would kind of point to a wedding party here. So we have a, a wedding party or some sort of matrimonial party. How's it going to turn out? It looks like we have some some bad some bad things coming, some sort of a bad information coming, some bad words being spoken about it or something like that. You could also have some great luck. You're going to have a wedding party and how's that going to turn out? It's going to be great. You're going to have an excellent luck with that. It looks like that where do you want to have it? Maybe you want to have it at your home, for example. So again, we could be looking at a smaller party or something like that. Uh, you could have news about the party. The news is the party could be smaller than you had expected as well. Or you could have some upgrades. So we have the upgrade card. So how is the gathering that we're having for the movie Friday night going to go? Well, you're going to have the gathering and you're going to have it upgraded. It's going to be a little better than you had anticipated. Maybe you'll get some upgraded seats. Maybe you'll meet somebody that you hadn't expected to meet. So here we go. So we're going out to the movies. How's it going to work out? Here we go. A social gathering, the garden. Everybody's coming you're going to have an upgrade, so you're going to have some information coming about that, and it's going to be about one of possibly your friends or someone that you know a long time ago will show up and be there. So the good news about the garden is it's ruled by Venus. As you know, Venus is harmony, love. Venus is in all sorts of great cards, so obviously this is going to be a positive card. Now the astrology sign on here is Libra, the air element. So a, a Libra is um, Libra is very balancing, very friendly type thing. So you could look at this almost like a Libra and Sagittarius as well as in here. So Libra Sagittarius feel. So, so out adventuring with a sort of a balance within it. So it's not too great. It's not bad news. I mean, all, always any social gathering is going to be fun. Everyone's going to have a good time just because you're together and stuff unless you have a negative card around it. So um, the garden is social groups, gatherings, and just general public in general. So the next card that we have is the mountain. Bad news, my friends. The mountain brings frustration, heavy burden, interruptions, and basically it slows down the rest of the cards. So any cards around it, it's going to be slowed down because the mountain is an obstacle that takes a while to get around. Now this, by the way, is influenced with Saturn, sort of the, the loneliness of Saturn, the negative side of Saturn, as well as Capricorn, meaning it's going to take a lot of effort to get around. This is not something you're going to be able to cross overnight. This is not something simple. Even if you have a road that leads up and around the mountain, still because you're going up that elevation, because there's more work involved, it slows down. So how does that affect a reading? So I'm waiting for news, for example. I have some news coming in about something. What's the card after? It's the mountain. That news is going to take a while. Then you have a negative card beside the mountain. Not only is it going to take a while, but when you get the news, it's probably not going to be the best news that you had anticipated. As well as you have a cutting motion around the mountain as well. The waiting for news, the slow down, and then you have a cutting of the news. So it's going to be it's going to be cut short. It's not going to work out quite the way you had anticipated. So let's say I'm taking a trip. Could have some negative influences on that trip if you have the mountain after the trip. Or we could have a significant delay before we even get to the trip planning process if the mountain came before, for example. So let's say we're trying to get custody of our child. So we have a ring, sort of a union with the child. I'm trying to get the custody of my child. How long is that going to take? Well, if it's going to be the mountain, you remember it's going to just be slowed down. 
especially if you're applying for something, a lawsuit, for example, the lawsuit's going to take a while. You could have some bad things at the end of the lawsuit. Maybe you have the snake over here as well. But generally, the mountain is not good news. It sort of delays everything. Um, universal across all of the books, the mountain just basically slows down. So you can use that in a strong variety of ways anyway from the finances, how are my finances going, or something like that. So this is your money. This is your personal finance, how much money you have, for example. It could be a while before you're able to make the investment that you wanted. Maybe the investment that you wanted is not going to turn out quite as good as you thought. Maybe you want to rethink or re-research that particular investment because you're looking at a long-time investment here. This is not something short. If you wanted something short, something small, you'd go with a child. I made an investment in a mutual fund. How long is it going to take before I get some good returns on it? It's not going to take too long. We have a short period of time, the child. But then you go with a mountain, you're going to get the complete opposite of that. So pretty easy to remember and very simple, especially with the Saturn and Capricorn uh, influences on the mountain. And the next card is the crossroads. Universally across all the books, the crossroads represents a decision. There's an important decision coming up. It wouldn't be important unless we have a card dedicated to it. There is a big decision coming up, and you need to decide carefully. We're talking Uranus, sort of the opportunity side of Uranus and Libra. You remember Libra is the balancing sign that always wants to keep things in balance. If it's too much good, it want to keep it in balance. If it's too much this or that, it want to keep it in balance. So here we have sort of a balance, but we have to choose which direction to go. So what does this mean in a reading? Well, one book said that basically if this is next to a man or a woman, you could be looking at infidelity. So looking at your spouse, is my spouse cheating? If you have the crossroads next to it, you could be looking at, at a possible situation where that occurs. As well as a side, you could be looking at multiple, oops, multiple opportunities. Not only do we have one opportunity, it's being cut into multiples. So it's not a simple yes or no. Someone asks a yes or no question, you're looking at this and this, you could be looking at multiple opportunities coming up. Maybe you're only seeing a couple of the sides, but you definitely have some good stuff coming in here as well. So we have opportunities with the clowns. It could not be a straightforward decision. You could have a decision to go left or right, but it's clouded. You don't really know. There's some information that's going to cloud your decision. It's not going to be as straightforward as you had originally thought could be a bad sign. You could have decisions based upon something bad. Maybe you're in a breakup or something. Maybe something's going wrong. Now you have a decision to make caused by this. Could have it on this side. This caused directly the decision or the decision will maybe have a bad consequence. Maybe you want to rethink that particular decision as well. So now we have a crossroads of the house. I've been shopping for a house. I don't know which one to make. This is going to represent that perfectly. It's going to mean you do have the decisions about your house, but then you have a positive card. After that, let's say the uh, good luck card. So you're going to make a good decision. The house that you choose, you researched it well, you know what you're doing, you're good at making these types of decisions. So the decision about your house is going to turn out lucky for you. It's going to be something that's going to be very good. Could have news that prompts a decision. Why am I having to make an important decision? Because you're going to get news that's going to prompt you to make a decision. It's going to force you into that decision as well. And now you have crossroads as well on a trip that you're planning. So what do I need to know about my trip? Well, you're going to have multiple things that you can choose from about your trip. Your trip is affected with this. Now, what if we have a negative card next to it like the mountain? Now I have a crossroads. I have a big decision to make, but it's going to be delayed. The decision is not quite mine. Maybe it's out of my control. Maybe it's going to be um, something 
bigger that's coming, maybe the tower, for example, that's going to knock this out of my control, and now it's going to be delayed. So I have a big decision to make. It's going to be knocked maybe out of my control, going to have a little of that isolation part of the tower, and it's going to cause the delay. So a uh, pretty simple card in meaning, especially when you think of Libra, sort of the balancing part of it, but it, it sure has a lot of meaning once you start adding cards to it. So big decisions, what are you going to decide? And the next card is the mice, or, or the mice, whichever. It brings, it, it doesn't bring good news. Now, a lot of different definitions for this based upon what you read. It basically represents stress and worry. It represents your mind going into that overworking, overthinking things and worrying about stuff. Now, in some books, it also points to the lack of attention, sort of the ADHD or the ADD type feel. Now, the rulers of the Mayas are Saturn and Uranus. So Saturn, not the best thing. Uranus for sort of the changes that are coming. But it does sort of eat away at you and 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 cause that anxiety and cause the nervousness and tension, right? Now, another book says that the mice take things away. And some people on YouTube as well say the mice could be taking things away. So think about that as well. They do heist items, are going to steal it and take it back to their nest. So how does that work in a reading? You could have stress and worry about an upcoming trip. The upcoming trip is really freaking me out. I have a lot of stress and worry. I'm thinking a lot about the upcoming trip, but how is it going to work out? It's going to work out fine. It's going to work out. It's one of those things you're overthinking it. The trip is going to work out fine. We have the good luck card. At the end, maybe the stress and worry is a good thing because maybe there's something that could go wrong with it. I think there could be some bad news on the opposite end of the trip, as well as the stress and worry about the trip could be caused because of the delay. There's a, some sort of a delay. It's not going well. You're going to be on the plane for four hours while it sits there for no reason. You can't figure out why. So one of those things where you could be looking at a delay, and that could cause the stress as well. So you could have a causal, cause and effect nature of a delay causing the stress or delay causing the mind being overworked. Um, the stress is also caused by the confusion, the, the lack of a, a particular direction you should be going. Everything is going really hazy. You're confused about how things are, and it's causing worry. It could be a, a, something like that. Maybe the marriage is on the rocks. Maybe we have a commitment problem. Maybe the marriage is not going as well as it should and you're worrying about it as well here too you could have the commitment and is causing the worry or maybe you're not ready for a commitment or you're worried about a future commitment you're about to get married it's causing a lot of stress and the the um, that's going as well now you have something else maybe you're stressed about an upcoming end or an upcoming transition you got laid off from a job it's causing stress the stress is because of the 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 future layoff and things could not go your way. You could be short on money after the layoff, or you need to get things organized as well. Um, could be stressed over could be stress over childbirth, for example. Especially have maybe the stork next to it. And now I can't find the stork. But if you have the stork next to it, uh, a child could be worried about that as well. So basically, it's just worry. Now, how would it come into play that? that um, you're thinking about uh, taking something away, taking something away. Um, you could have something to where you have bad news, and the bad news or the gossip or the bad words or whatever is causing, um, is causing things to go away, or just look at it as something going away, something being taken from another place. So that's another way to think about the mice as well. And ending on a positive note today, we have the heart. Everybody loves the heart. Ruled by Venus. You knew that before I said it. Ruled by Venus. Now, this indicates love and passion. But don't get this confused with commitment. We have a commitment card. We're coming to it. It's the ring that is commitment. But don't get commitment confused with love. This is a passion. This is love, a flowering, blooming 
um, satisfaction and fulfillment. It's a romance. It could be a romance. could be a future lover. Um, it's definitely not a commitment. If you're looking for commitment, we have a card for that. So this is love and passion. You could be looking at something more of a friendship, love and passion. So you have somebody coming in or somebody that you know that's more of a friend, but you're very fond of them. You're very connected to that person. It's one of those things to where you have like a lifelong friend. It's almost like it's a soulmate type person, but you've never had a relationship with them or you had a relationship or broke off, but now they're your best friend. So you could look at a love of a friend or a friendship type of love. Now, obviously, if you're going to combine these, you're going to have a very passionate relationship and it's going to be a committed relationship as well. You could have that. You could add a strong card to that as well. Now, you remember the bear means strength. Not only do you have a passionate love and then with commitment, you have some strength behind it. You have some longevity behind it as well. If you're looking at a delay, you're trying to get married or something like that, or you have a lover, um, you could be looking at a delay after that if the mountain ends up there. Now, let's look at some other possibilities. So you're in love, and you're trying to figure this guy out, and the guy is confusing, or you're trying to figure this girl out, or whatever, and they're confusing. You're not really sure how it's going because you have the clouds next to it. The clouds do sort of muffle everything up and kind of create a lot of confusion in that regard as well. So you could have a love and a passion and it ends quite well. This is good news. It's always good news. It's going to be happiness and everything else. So if you're wondering how the relationship is going to go, then you can definitely look at something like this. So you have a love of a future lover maybe coming in. And it's definitely going to go well. The bouquet at the end of it is always going to go well. You could have news about a future lover as well. Maybe if you have the rider in front of it. So you have news about a future love interest. So you could be getting some news about that love interest. And then they're asking, obviously, how it's going to go. It's going to go quite well. Maybe you move in together. Who knows? So uh, always love, passion, and uh, generally just a very positive card as well. So you could have something as well to where you have um, going on a trip with somebody that you love maybe. You have this love and the passion and then you're going to see this person. Maybe you have a long distance relationship. You have that relationship, you haven't seen this person, you're looking forward to it. Are you taking a trip anytime soon to actually see that person, especially if you have that person at the end? So again, um, two different cards, two totally separate type of feelings between the ring and and the love and passion card. So sort of keep those separate of the mind as far as commitment goes. This is going to be the commitment. This is going to be the passionate love. And that's it. So if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.